Tyson Kier. David Amen, the chairman of the farmers, said council is charging them $5.80 per head of goat and sheep, while they pay for cattle, horse and donkey $50 per head. On top of that, council refuses them to farm with more than 100 animals, a limitation, Amen said, does not allow them to prosper in their farming. Please take our plea to the president, because we voted for the government during elections. We are in fact the government, so please hear our cry for land. He said water infrastructure in the camps often breaks down, leaving the animals without water. Amen also said farmers are not allowed to live on the townland or employ shepherds to take care of the animals, while police are also not allowed to enter the camps when investigating stock theft. Concurring with Amen was another farmer and two DJ, adding that during lambing season, they also suffer losses of lambs to predators as they are only allowed to stay with their animals. Therefore, farmers appeal to the government to seriously look into their plight and start resettling them so that they can diversify farming activities. Our aim is to grow and graduate to commercial level, but if we are limited to only 100 animals, that dream cannot be realized. The unavailability of communal land for the people of Arwap is denying those interested in subsistence farming to do so, as the village is surrounded by townland and commercial farms. Calls to Council Chief Executive Officer Elisa Lapser and Village Chairperson Bartholomew Roy went unanswered. Arwap village is located 170 kilometers east of Kietmanswap and is the gateway to the border to neighboring South Africa.